hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this training session scalping and day trading fast moving markets at the moment the world globally the financial markets are, ex are experiencing extreme volatility and almost every hour I'm receiving an email from members and the general public right around the world asking what should they do what markets are tradable etc so this is a members training session where we will look at various time frames that I'd recommend and even some markets to consider trading at this time so first of all I do need to pull up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading of course if you're watching this recording which you will be <laughs> please uh, feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer and particularly right now there is a risk in trading this extreme volatility but I'm going to show you how to make trading um, a lot easier now let's also remember traders that you know there's been fortunes also made yes there have been fortunes lost but there are fortunes also made during these tough market conditions now just a very quick advertisement uh, if you go to the website as most of you know you can attend my first month of coaching for $997 I'm now running the special for members for only $97 a month you can attend my coaching session that's eight live two-hour sessions I've now got over 200 members attend each month either the live sessions and they are recorded and literally dozens have signed up now sign up and attend the annual that is they've signed up after attending the first month you can then switch over to the annual plan which is a lot uh, which is only 597 a year that's eight live two-hour sessions and just very quickly and then we will move on but this is very important for many of you is I've been running these now for 19 months and we've got members that started 19 months ago still attend every month that are full-time professional traders why because of the ongoing coaching that professional traders recognize they need and remember traders in every session we have new handouts screenshots powerpoints ebooks there's literally dozens of handouts and the uh, the uh, links to the recordings are uploaded each day so if you cannot attend the live session you can download the link and watch it at any time so for an example um, session four let me just quickly get on there you'll see this powerpoints is handouts is um, how we trade fractals there's just literally dozens of handouts each month and we I produce new handouts every month so traders that's the monthly coaching so 97 a month for one month uh, then it's 97 a month thereafter but you can cancel after one month you can say okay that was great I've enjoyed it I've picked up and really perhaps clarified a lot of these uh, setups because you can type in uh, and that's the other thing too a lot of our members traders send in their charts so they'll send their charts in and then I'll go and analyze their charts we'll go over their trades etc so we spend a lot of time with members on their charts looking at their trading etc so it's incredibly uh, valuable to anyone that's either full-time or looking at trading full-time in the future okay end of advertisement the link to join is in the email that would have come uh, with this video so let's now get into this now traders many of you have already seen me use this slide many times success is never due to one thing but foe you can be don't fall victim to FOMO fear of missing out and in these challenging times we've still got traders both experienced and new traders wanting to dip their toe in or wanting to trade these incredibly fast moving markets and when we look at the ES for an example uh, and the NQ and even oil it's uh, it's sometimes it's they're untradeable they're moving that quickly and there's no quicker way to blow your account than attempt to trade these markets and so I'm going to be giving you some alternative markets and we'll be discussing time frames now if we go back and look at our volume just coming back to uh, June last year uh, May June last May actually <laughs> last year and this is pretty typical on the ES our average daily volume is around 1.5 1.6 million contracts okay when we look at oil it's typically around 500,000 uh, contracts so we've just got sensible volumes now in today's market 
we're actually seeing three million four million contracts being traded we look at then at the at the um, uh, 10 year note 3.4 million contracts so we're seeing extreme volumes and also limit down where you can't even trade those markets and the order flow is such that uh, on 99% on of computers when you go and place your trade you're picking up massive slippage because the markets moving that quickly and not only that but it's also going through traders stops okay so it's a really dangerous time but the great news is there's still some fantastic opportunities out there now normally we're considering this three time frames we've got New York the Asian session which rolls into London and as we'd normally say say we're we're looking at really the speed of a market the stops and targets now with the speed of a market today with most of any any market that's really equity based it's flying it's very very difficult to trade and our stops are much larger okay and there's some issues now if you do insist on say trading the ES and NQ I will give you some ideas and I'll show you some things on the charts how you may consider doing it but once again I want to give you some alternatives so when we have markets like these here's what we consider first of all we can increase the time frame that we're trading and so say rather than a 550 or a 610 tick on the ES you might want to run up to say a, um, a 15 a 1500 or a 1000 or a 2000 volume however the challenge is when we increase the time frames our stops are also a lot larger now we can also stand aside now the challenge for us right now is that with coronavirus this may be on for the next three to six months we may continue to see this massive volatility in the market now normally we love volatility but volatility that's tradable where it's just not tradable right now a lot of the markets so even taking a break and standing aside for a few days is not a good alternative for most traders because it could be weeks and weeks we experience these massive moves so the other alternative is to trade an alternative market and there are still some really good opportunities that are tradable that is uh, great markets that are tradable where it's also keeping your stop loss at a reasonable level so here are the considerations first of all which market do we trade well if you consider the black gold oil now at the moment we're witnessing uh, an extreme uh, what's the word for it? a trade war between Russia and Sa and the Saudis and that could continue a while longer and so we're seeing a lot of volatility there and we're also seeing oil prices well down because of a slowdown in manufacturing globally which affects the energy sector now there's still a lot of tradable time periods with CL and we'll have a look at the CL charts very quickly okay so at times you'll still find the black gold is still very tradable now and, and let me just say this too at this video it doesn't matter when you watch it even if it's in five years from from now and at the moment I'm recording this on the 16th of March 2020 the information I'm giving you here is just as applicable to any volatile time okay so it really doesn't matter at the moment I think the world's experiencing something we have not seen for many many years uh, this extreme volatility because it's also probably going to continue for a long time period all right back to this so we look at the 10-year note which we're going to have a close look at in a moment great market if you look at uh, the EC the currency futures okay so uh, that's known it's the EC on trade station the 6e uh, on ninja trader you've got the yen which is the uh, 6j on ninja trader you've got the uh, 6b uh, for the British pound or you've just got the standard FX markets so all of these are still very very tradable now then you can go to your grains and go to, to the hogs and other markets but then we've got a problem there with the volumes of those markets so these are real alternatives 
now we've now got an added issue now the CME will usually lay down the law to the brokers on what sort of margins they've got to uh, have their clients have now if we consider this here now this is uh, the trade station platform uh, this is the initial margin they now require it's gone up from 4,000 up to 9,000 to trade the e-mini the Nasdaq is 11,880 so what we're seeing here traders is these massive differences in the margins required now I know they will tell you that the day trading rate is only 25% but it's a double-edged sword because even if you're say allowing two and a half thousand or trading with two and a half thousand on the ES if you're going to maintain your risk at a maximum of 2% you've got real issues by only having or allowing two and a half thousand per contract you're trading there are issues with that now then you can go and trade the micros now the micros are still uh, and it's a great it really is a it was it's been fantastic having the micros on the ES and the NQ particularly the ES less than a thousand dollars however you have still got this massive volatility issue even with the micros now if we go to the currencies with the Aussie dollar uh, the margin is only 1400 the pound uh, 2600 we can see there down at the euro uh, 21 uh, the yen is 3000 so what we can see here is with the currency futures uh, which are very very similar to the standard uh, cash market and Forex is that the margins are, are quite reasonable now we're still seeing some volatility here but it's still very very tradable now this is uh, Sunday evening in the USA so it's now uh, it's now actually what time is it there now it's about to turn mid midnight or it actually has sorry Eastern Standard Time now at the open of the market Sunday US time today the market was very very thinly traded when it comes to the currency futures for the first few hours and even now looking at the screen it's still jumping around a lot now as we lead into London the London session in the next hour that will will start to settle down but the bottom line is uh, it's still within most traders uh, um, what's the word for it account size to be able to trade these now the next market here is the 10-year note now the 10-year note which we will have a look at it's really a lumber lumbering giant now the 10-year note we're seeing some um, uh, ten dollars US per tick. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my apologies. That's not true. It's uh, sorry. It's um, fifteen sixty two a tick. I was thinking of another market. So I was thinking of CL. So one tick is fifteen sixty two. Um, and if you look at five ticks, that's seventy eight dollars. Or six ticks is ninety three sixty. You can do really well. And as you're about to see, but the great thing is it's still very very tradable 98 percent of the time and look at the margin the full margin is only 17 eighteen hundred dollars even in these extreme market conditions so we will look at the 10-year note why the 10-year say over the 30 year it, in my opinion we can see the margins a lot lower and it you get a lot more volume okay you usually have about the same volume trading and even in these fast markets you've got the same volume on the 10 year note as what you do have uh, on the uh, ES or even greater now on ninja trader the 10 year note by the way the code is the ticker is uh, uh, the symbol I should say is ZN now we get down the gold now gold's lower but we've seen some extreme volatility earlier today and I like gold which just was not tradable and just one more here we look at crude now I wouldn't consider the micro contracts on crude because it's just too thinly traded but we can see here it's still not too bad but we have gone up nearly double than what crude was so you could be trading crude for around two and a half three thousand was the initial margin required by brokers but it is now sitting up a bit above five thousand because of this this extra volatility that we have been seeing so next thing is the target still is and for my traders is $200 a day per contract minimum net net now you can see over here that's based upon a contract 
uh, value of 6,000 and as we know within 17 weeks 18 weeks you're up to earning your $10,000 a week so I'm going to show you trading these markets how you may be able to do that now once again traders you've got to have a target it's so important you've got a target it may be a hundred it may be 400 but trading the ty the currency futures is some still some you can still easily achieve those goals in the right trading conditions so looking at this when we consider the tick value so on the currency futures and the, why the currency futures why is that my preferred market over say the direct cash market Forex it's because of the commissions you're, you're trading for only a little around four dollars maximum with 99% of a brokers five dollars round turn uh, so you're not paying your one and a half two percent spread pip spread which is 15 and 20 dollars so it's really reasonable and it's six dollars 25 a tick now we're, we're really looking for your average move you want to go for for around 12 ticks and likewise on the 10-year note you want to go for five to six ticks now all we need traders is three of those trades a day so three by 75 is 215 less your commissions there's your 200 net net a day on the currencies and the same sort of thing on the 10-year note now with the 10-year note if you go back say a month ago or even greater where you see that the volume was only say one and a half to two million contracts a day you'll see the market was a lot slower however there's still plenty of trading opportunities except you have to realize you might be in a trade for three hours to pick up your six to eight ticks okay you're going to be in those trades a lot longer now let's remember traders in these fast markets no matter what market we are trading we must trade in the direction of our higher time frame or if you're a divergence trader just waiting for the best of the best divergence trades so what are we doing the dark blue is our anchor chart we're waiting for a pullback a retracement then executing a trade back in a direction of the overall trend these are usually our divergence trades as you're about to see this is the only way really but you can just make a fortune this way also trading with the trend okay look at Mark uh, um, Mike Covell's book you know where where millions are made by uh, trend traders now we've got to remember in these fast markets the CT traders uh, are the ones also that can easily get smashed why because the market can take off that much quickly a uh, quicker sorry little grammar mistake there so really trade with the trend and very important members stick with the trend what I'd even recommend you even do don't even mark up your divergence trades and what's really interesting um, in just dealing I've got a couple of hundred members now in the coaching room and uh, just feedback from some of the members where and really I some days now I won't even talk about CT trades counter trend trades just you know, just get them to stick with trading with the trend developing the habit of remaining focus now last of all before we go to the charts here is the type of charts now the challenge we have with time-based charts in markets like these is that big candles are evil they really are evil okay and what we're experiencing in one minute three minute five minute candles you've got massive candles huge stops okay and so as far as your two percent rule staying within your uh, risk management it's just blown out of the water it's ridiculous and so this is one of a challenge so so one of the things you can do with your time based charts is to look at perhaps say 15 second that's right and I'll show you that in a moment 15 second 30 second uh, maybe then a one and a three minute chart and we'll quickly look at that tick volume charts of course are still still the go but you've still got the problem in some of these markets the markets just flying then we've got our Renko and our range and most of you know I love both Renko and range and I'll particularly the uh, Renko using that with tick but we're going to look at the Renko and I'll show you how to calculate the time frames you want to be using also in a moment now members what you want to do and if you haven't already and as a quick reminder log in to my Google Drive 
and on my Google Drive you'll see there a folder called chart time frames now there's a couple of videos there links to some videos on how I work out the time frames but I'm going to quickly go through them again for you there is also a handout here um, on how to calculate or where to put a buy stop in or a sell stop in when you're using uh, uh, Renko charts so there is a, a technique of knowing where to place your buy stop or your sell stop and there's also a handout there on where to put your buy stop or sell stop in and so you'll see that uh, explained in those documents now also I'd like you to have a look at the cheat sheets area in the cheat sheets area there's also uh, where is it um, preferred chart settings t3 just going to here we go trading terms uh, there you'll find it's fairly up to date with the latest terms of every one of our setups etc now please remember that when for any new members that are watching this we've got lots of setups for different um, uh, for different times different setups but you're going to stick with your t1s okay your um, uh, what else do we want to stick with your slingshots and your two B's just stay with those what's that one thing master one two three setups and then you move on to others I want you to remember that so let's now go to the charts so let's start off with a time-based chart I just want to share with you now at the moment traders uh, as I mentioned I'm trading in the after hours market and this is something we rarely rare and it's been years yet we've seen uh, the ES limit down a number of times in the last week and that's where uh, the market drops and the exchange basically closes it out and you can see over here on the one minute chart even better than this see those dots so there's no trading at the moment absolutely no trading on the ES because it's dropped that much okay so these are some of the challenges now one of the benefits in using a time-based chart is that you know exactly when the candle is going to close so this is a 30 second candle so I've got a 30 second candle a one minute and a nine minute actually that should be I'd make that a three minute so therefore in using anchor charts what you want to make sure is that and let me change that to one week uh, wait just make that one and I'll explain that why in a moment so I'd recommend perhaps a 30 second one minute and a three minute chart and I'll just pull let's just pull this back a little bit more so if we look at this here there we've got it okay so I've got my my trading chart and my anchor charts for, for your overall trend direction now one of the challenges is that even if we enter here on the close of a candle so we've got a classic 2b trade right here now okay we're not going to be in until about here and our stop would go under here but if you look at this here look at the size of these stops it's huge you're looking at three or four points okay so four points is two hundred dollar stop on this so you can see how it can really affect your time frame so the chart looks great but the challenge is traders in trading this is the size of your stops okay if you want to tuck tuck it under now yes you can use the ATR you can use a parabolic etc but there's issues with that so that's a problem with our time stop now let's have a look at the 10-year note now let me just go back to the start of today so we're in the trading session so we can see back here where the market uh, opened let me just whiz right back here traders and it opened up at 1700 hours on Sunday US time which is um, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard so we can see here that we've got great slingshot trades all the way down never dist the time distance from there to there is 10 minutes okay so you've got plenty of time now as a reminder if you're trading your 34b you're in on the close of a first candle so you've got a nice entry there there you've got a ruler one ruler one so you've got some lovely entries there now if you're in on the close of a first candle and you're placing your uh, stop one stop above there using the ruler one you've only got a maximum of a four tick stop 
so if you're using a sell stop here you've only got a four tick stop okay now a four tick stop is 6240 on the 10-year note 6240 and likewise as you can see you can easily achieve four to six eight ticks in these sorts of moves now we then rally up and there's a really nice 2b just there let me patch this expand so we had a 2b there we had a 2b there now the time distance between these 1753 and seven oops that one there now there's an example of the market taking off right there 53 53 54 okay now it slows down you can trade that then you can take these particular trades okay but right there that was a, a case where you couldn't it just wasn't tradable now we then uh, come back here there's another 2b and a 2b and there we come up and then we got lots of slingshots on the way up now once again how do you achieve your $200 a day uh, romp 200 a day in to do that all you need is three five tick trades a day now five ticks is 78 take away your commissions okay so there is your 200 plus so you can see virtually all of these trades gave you your five ticks now these are all slingshot traders it they are mechanical so number one do we have a trend absolutely so these are all your mechanical trades now what I've now done and you may notice here I'm ignoring any CT trades for you okay now then we roll back over there is our rollover here is our t20 there is our t20-1 and away we go again okay we then come back down here we had had a uh, an anchor chart 289b just there then we rallied up okay you had another 2b that was a loss there but then we took off again for 2b's back in the trend direction now remember a 2b is most likely to fail after you have a lot of angulation look at the angle there traders you've got a lot of angulation there the greater the angulation and that turned into also a nice divergence trade then that was a pivot magnet you can see there we've gone up to the pivot now what about this slingshot just there remember traders that the further away from your EMAs your entry is the more likely you are to have a relate uh, sorry a, uh, a pullback a retracement if ever you've got a trade or a rule of one or a slingshot that's well out of the EMAs well if it's a rule of one you're going to be at that swing low anyway you will still want to make sure that your stop loss is one tick below your swing low so you had your stop loss there 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 one tick under there that keeps you out of trouble most of the time but just be aware the further out of your EMAs the more likely you are to have a retracement now we then had a pullback and now we've got a trend continuation again so there is our slingshot again and a 34 and away we go let me go back to the anchor chart for you and then if we look at this here let me just pull this back what have I got there I've got our classic 200 overshoot just there and what is that on your anchors it is a 2b on your anchor we then come back up for a 200 overshoot and what is it on your anchor chart too it's a classic a b c see the abc on your anchor chart there just there traders note down here you've got then a t10 confirming the abc now for our newer traders perhaps that are really cutting their teeth and want to get down all you want to be doing here as traders is trading these with the trend that's all you want to be doing initially is just taking these trend trades okay picking up your four or five ticks four ticks 62 40 five ticks 78 right you can trail using your ATR okay so there is another slingshot just there now that only gave you one two three four five now touch six ticks 
okay now six ticks is 93 but if it only just touched it because you got such large volume on the 10 year note you when you're doing your testing uh, what you want to do is see it tick through by one tick okay just because price come down and touched your target particularly with a high volume market you want to see it tick by tick to sort of guarantee a fill and what do we got just there here we've got a classic uh, 2b right there okay you've got a beautiful 2b and that this is where the market is right now but if you look for timing right there that's over 30 minutes you've had plenty of time to exercise those with trend trades why take any CT trades yes that's a nice little t19 I know that and actually it's a 2d but still why risk it stick with the trend you've all these your days profit there already now let's have a look at the uh, euro currency now what I've got here is a one tick a two a four and a seven now let me members quickly give you the formula you want to use for setting up your charts for your entry chart you want a time frame that is tradable and that goes with any market the number one rule what is tradable so where a member will ask me what time would I reckon time frame would I, re would I recommend well what's tradable because if it's going that fast and you can't get your order in that's not tradable you need to increase the time frame okay now when you're trading a time based chart a tick or a volume where you've got your candles in those types you work in multiples of three so let's just say here that I was using a 500 ES chart okay well then I'd use a 500 as my entry what's three times that 1500 I use a 1500 for my anchor chart one what's three times 15 it is four and a half I'd use a four and a half thousand tick for my anchor chart two if you're finding still with the uh, two anchor charts still a bit confusing for any member just just use the AC one the middle time frame to begin with now uh, traders what you'll find if you if you want to use fib numbers uh, so a fib number for a tick chart for trading the ES in normal market conditions would be a 610 tick chart I like a 550 I've just used a 550 for 25 years but say if you use a fib number if you want to stick your fib that's 610 now what's three times 610 well there's no perfect fib, fib number for that but the closest fib number is 1597 approximately three times that now what's three times 1597 the closest number is 4181 the next one above that is 6765 so you want to go with 4180 now you'll find the fib numbers in the and actually I must check I'm pretty I'm 99% sure they're in the time frame so I'm just make sure as soon as I hang up while well, I finish this recording I'm pretty certain they're in there all my coaching members have got I just make sure the fib numbers uh, chart is in that time based chart uh, folder so if not I'll make sure it is so you work in time frames of, of multiples of three approximately this it doesn't have to be exact now where that rule changes is if you're trading range or Renko charts you work in multiples of 1.75 time 1.75 to two times higher so therefore if I'm using like here a two tick Renko on the euro okay two tick Renko the next I would use would be a four go okay, because the, the, the nearest number is four the closest now what's 4 by 1.75 is 7 so I've got a 2 4 and a 7 close enough is good enough looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck okay now some traders and it usually don't show even in coaching the full time frames because traders get confused by it uh, when you use a one tick a one tick even though it can be very untradeable it's a nice heads up you're about to get a t1 all right so see the little ABC we've got there with the t10 by getting the super scalper plotting on on the lower time frame it can just be a nice heads up however normally I would just show that okay and once again if you find having the uh, the three time frames which you get used to 
and you'll find them invaluable just have your two and your four there and once again you're trading in the direction of your anchor charts okay now just there you've got a, an AC 200 B right there you really and you classify that as a trend trade but I'm getting off of track a bit there so we can see here traders that uh, you can do really well now each one of these step ups here on this uh, Renko each one of those is worth $12.50 okay now to pick up uh, $75 per trade that's 12 ticks that's six of these so right there what is that set up members that's a 2b now your entry is not till here so one two three four five six now right there with you would have got filled but there is your six candles if you had have stayed in there you can see you would have romped in 18 ticks which is $112 in that move you now have another 34 B and you romped okay because you you didn't come anywhere near uh, there your stop is going to be tucked in one tick below and you can see you easily would have picked up 16 ticks which is um, eight candles higher which is $100 there All right so once again three by 75 hits a target now as a remember as a reminder I should say five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can that's a chant we have in the coaching room five by five means five fifty dollar trades little scalps and the three by eight means a three eighty dollar trades okay that's 400 a day per contract you're trading you get your scalps for an example as a reminder if we had a rallied up here and hit 16 ticks at the candle am I going to give all of that back uh, let me just check it two four six eight ten twelve four sorry 14 ticks uh, there which is 87 am I going to give all of that back no way okay I'm going to bring my stop in and lock some profit in okay but then I've got a rule of one entry just here or I wait for a 34 B which is over here right so that is why you're always going to have scalps because you're going to hit your targets you're going to pull up your stop you're going to lock some profit in but there's no way known we're going to give back $80 or whatever so what we can see here that's this is pretty tradable now for two tick was still too fast yes you can jump up to a three tick or a four tick to slow down the chart so if we go and look at BP which is the uh, 6b which is the now that's on a tick chart so this is the the British pound so this is a 34 tick chart running there so you can see here we can use a tick but I prefer to use my Renko's whoops and I'm not meant to show those little just a little thing that I'm testing here uh, all that is uh, by the way is just an out of band those green crosses but this is what we normally see here is just and that's all you need you've got your ATR on the higher time frame but you can see we're in chop here all right but once again if you're trading with the trend thank you very much uh, you would have been stopped on that one but then you had a nice little trade and then you had a nice little trade just there okay and by the way just there is over a hundred dollars uh, just in those trades net net so getting back to what we were talking about traders there are some real opportunities still in the market today I want you to be very very cautious the TY is a great market um, remember we've got to stay within that 2% rule though very very important you stay within your 2% which means by the way even though the broker says you can open up your account with 1700 you need to be allowing a higher margin because what's two percent of 1700 okay what is it uh, gee it's only uh, forty dollars or something like that thirty five dollars where if you've got a four tick stop that's sixty two forty so you still need to be allowing more however three thousand per contract is going to allow you to trade this market now for those traders in closing hopefully you've picked up some ideas remember to visit the Google Drive go to the charts uh, the chart time frames and also the cheat sheet area and I will make sure that the fib levels the charts to use there is up I'll do that as soon as we hang up once again as we close off this 40 minute video for only 97 a month traders you can come and attend the live coaching sessions and as you'll see we've got members providing their, their results their charts some of them are kicking butt 
big time remember we've got a lot of newer traders there as well or well, we've got a lot of uh, for, I think we've got last count about 40 full-time traders that trade full-time so uh, we've got a great mixture of traders so thank you very much uh, stay safe in these markets okay don't forget FOMO fear of missing outs thanks thanks traders see you in the next video